Hi guys, welcome back to the next lesson. If you want to know more about Maya, go check out my Maya Fundamentals course. It goes into more depth about Maya and you know how to use the graph or what have you. And then you can come back to this class and then do the animations. Or you can come along with me because these are going to be quick fire just to show you to the point how to do a bouncing ball. So for example, let's check this out. We've got a bouncing ball here. We're literally just going to select this control here. Just going to show you how quick it is to do a bouncing ball. Do a keyframe here. Go to the end, 24, keyframe. And all you're doing, you're going to go to the middle, say 12. Actually, let's make this zero. Zero. And we'll just shift, click, move this back. And we'll go to 12. And we're just moving the ball up. And all we're going to do now is we're going to go into the graph editor, select the Y. We can go to curves, non-weighted, sorry, weighted. Then we can go to break. So we're breaking them. So we've got control. And then we're just moving these handles up. We're going to create more of a hang time in the air by moving these up. So we're spacing, we're playing with the spacing here. And now if we play the animation, there'll be like a bouncing ball animation. And it's as simple as that. And then now if you really want to refine it even more, you get your graph editor. You can have a you can even move it, make it higher. And then with these, you can even have it more sharper the way it bounces down. So you can see here, you're getting more of a sharper bounce. And you can bring it down lower, make it higher as well. You can give it more hang time if you want. Because it's a lighter ball, it's got more time in the air. If it's a heavier ball, it'll have less time in the air. So in a nutshell, that's how you do a bouncing ball, simple exercise. The next video will cover, we'll do a bouncing ball going forward heavy one and a light one. We'll edit both of them in the same same scene. Okay, so in a nutshell, the graph editor, that's how you do the bouncing ball with the graph editor and keyframes. I'll see you in the next video.